Like most people, I think, I have had some personal experience with cancer. I grew up not knowing who my grandmother was. She had passed when my dad was really young, and I never really knew what she passed from. And it was kind of something that was talked about in whispers between my cousins, where I learned that she had passed from breast cancer. And I was young, and I didn't really know what that meant. And it was not something that we really talked about because she had passed such a long time ago. So when I got to medical school, that was always the thing that I thought was the most interesting. I would flip ahead to see what was in oncology in each session. And then when I got to internal medicine, those actually ended up being the patients that I connected with and had the best bonds and relationships with. The cancer patients were always people that I thought were the strongest, funniest, kindest people, and they were the ones that I spent the most time with. It became a very natural thing for me to pick oncology because it was where I spent most of my time. Coming now back to Phoenix, I grew up out here and I was out in California doing my training before this, and I wanted to come home and to be able to provide some security to these patients so that they never felt like they were confused and that they didn't understand what cancer was. I wanted to make sure that they felt supported and they had all their questions answered. My first interaction with cancer patients was when I was in medical school and I was doing clinical research with breast cancer patients who were getting radiation treatment. And I would come and see these patients who would come week after week to see their doctor. And I was blown away by the interactions that they would have with each other and how they knew everything about each other's lives. And I was in awe that these patients had such an upbeat, positive attitude despite the trials that they were obviously going through. And it made me realize these are patients I want to spend the rest of my life taking care of.